Well, H Quizzes, you can buy your mugs at the URL you see on your screen right now. So grab a mug or two mugs, okay? Yeah, don't miss it, because once they're gone, we ain't gonna have no more mugs. And then you're just gonna be like, dang, I wish I got a mug so I could drink like the money flipper in my, mo my morning coffees. <laughs> Silly heads. Well, ah, if you've played before, you already know what's up, okay? Tonight, I'm gonna ask you 12 questions. They start out easy, but they get harder than trying to get on a plane from LA and make it in time to host HQ Trivia, which I did! Shout out to me and dust my shoes off. You got 10 seconds to tap the correct answer. Get all of them right, and you win! Tonight, we have one billion points up for grabs. Dang, that's a lot of fun. Woo. Okay, one billy. A billy, a billy, a billion points, y'all. You heard me right. I said one billion points. That's a lot of points. I can't count that high. Tell me, what level are you on right now, okay? If you win tonight and you have a point multiplier, you can go straight to level 10. That's crazy! That means you only have to answer a few questions to win the finale. That's so dope. Oh my goodness. Yes! Let's get it. Oh, we're getting close to that time, H Twist. We got seven seconds left to the game. It's, uh, beginning. Whoa! Here we go! Let's get it! I missed y'all so much. I don't even want to waste no time. Let's get right to it. Nothing to it but to HQ it. Question number one. Eggs are often sold in U.S. grocery stores by the what? Fistful, Dozen, or Google? What's it gonna be? How you buying your eggs, baby? Hmm? Shout out to my homegirl, Karen. She got organic eggs. That's what I want. That's my dream. Is to just live off the land, have some chickens. You know what I'm saying? Take the eggs down to market. Farmer's market. Word, I've been spending too much time with Martha Stewart. Okay, woo! Uh, if you order a Google of eggs, I really hope you uh, love omelets, because those eggs would fill up the known universe. Dozen, baby. The answer was a dozen. 420, <laughs> 420,865 of y'all got that one right. It was dozen. Uh, 2,000 of you trying to carry eggs by the fistful, you are going to get yoked. Facts. Question number two, what you gonna do? Yeah. Which of these was written by Leo Tolstoy? Pain and Gain, Pokemon Red and Blue, or War and Peace? What's it gonna be, hmm? Yeah, well all right. Mmm, tastes like victory. All right, if you wanna hear a truly epic tale, might I recommend the world of Pokemon? I want to be the very best that no one ever was. To catch them is my real test. To train, never mind. Okay. <laughs> All righty. Yeah, Pokemon's not the right answer. But only, uh, only one of these is a 19th century novel. And it's the one by Leo Tolstoy. It's the epic 1,200-page doorstop war and peace. Mm. Mm. That was a do the right thing reference. War, but he, he had, never mind. Watch the movie, it's a good movie. War and Peace, y'all, 388,784. Just got that one right. You're moving on to Q3 in the place to be. Let's get it, whoop dee dee. Which of these is a type of cat? Wormeriner, Persian, or Yorkshire Terrier? Wormeriner, Persian, or Yorkshire Terrier? I don't. I don't know how to say that, dog. Ooh, I just gave it away. Oh, crap. Whoopsie! <laughs> that was a freebie. You're welcome! Oh, man, these are all great pet choices, but make sure you know which is which, okay? If you're wondering why you're Weimar Reiner, what the heck is it? A wee, wee Mariner? Weenie, a Weenie, a wee Mariner. He's not gonna use the litter box, because that's a dog. <laughs> Persian kitties, though. Those are the right answers there. Oh! Look at the kitty! Oh, oh, oh. oh, that was the cutest thing I've seen all day. Hmm. Oh, man. 414,451. Just got that one right. At question number three, we're moving on. 
uh, to question number four. Uh, give me some more. Here we go. A waistcoat most closely resembles what other article of clothing? Vest, cummerbund, or tailcoat? What's it gonna be? If you rock in your waistcoat, what does it most likely, you know, most closely resemble? Waistcoat. I got something in my pocket. I don't know what it is. I've been gone for too long. Some receipts. Flipping that money. Ow. Yeah. Okay. If you're in a wedding party, go ahead and call it a waistcoat. But if you're hanging out with your friends, it's just, it's just a vest, all right? Yeah. So now I'm curious why you're wearing a vest with your friends. It's very aladdin -y. You had an Aladdin-themed party? He had a vest. 163,964 just got that one right. Congratulations, baby. Ooh, here we go. Question five on it. Ah, 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 ah. Question five, question five. Ah, 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 ah. Question five. It's question five, babies. Let's go. Here we go. What is a synonym for gallimaufry? Gallimaufry. Is it uh, flim flam, hodgepodge, or willy nilly? <laughs> What's it gonna be? Flim flam, hodgepodge, or willy nilly? I swear they throw this stuff at me like this just because they want to see me sweat. I'm not gonna sweat. Gallimaufry. It might sound like uh, <laughs> Doctor Who's home planet, but. Gallimaufry is a noun, meaning a, a jumble, you know, a mix or a, a medley. You know, a hodgepodge. Yeah, we've got a whole Gallimaufry of questions for you right here on HQ, babies. 170,352 knew what to do. Look at you. <laughs> Love you so much. Time for question number six. Let's go. Here we go. Often used in baking, cream of tartare comes from the making of what? Wine, cheese, or yogurt? What's it going to be? Let's look and find out together, shall we? Because I didn't know. Also known as potassium bitartate. This is a useful stabilizer in recipes, but we might never know about the stuff if it didn't crystallize on the inside of wine casks during fermentation. <laughs> Wine is the answer. That's a savage question. Hold up. Mug time. Savage question song. Sorry you got it wrong. Savage question song. That's a savage question song. Savage question. Savage question. Woo so savage, baby. Wine was the right answer there. 72,255 got that right. You are staying in the game, baby. There's a lot of extra lives getting used up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time for question seven. Let's go. Which of these are which of these classic arcade games has a full musical soundtrack? Mappy, Cubert, or Defender? A full-on musical soundtrack. I'm talking from the time you put your quarters in to the time you keep having to put your quarters in because that's how they got you. Alrighty. Here's some classic earworms that came out of the 80s, okay? Bet you can hum uh, some Frogger off the top of your head. Huh? Probably? The less was more for some games that led uh, to the sound effects that set the whole mood, like Defender and Cubert. But dig the ragtime music in Mappy. Take a listen. Oh, that's bringing back memories. I was born in 89, so I don't remember it at all, but I'm sure some of you do. Okay, okay. That's another savage question. Me, 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 me. Savage question song. Sorry, you got it wrong. Savage question song. That's the second savage question song. Yeah. Thirty-three thousand five hundred and something. Got that one right. It moved too fast. I couldn't, couldn't see it. Question number eight. Hope you're feeling great. I am. Here we go. Chris Strompolos and Eric Zala became famous for remaking what 1980s film as teenagers? Raiders of the Lost Ark, Ghostbusters, or The Empire Strikes Back? What's it gonna be? 
babies. All right, well, it took them literally thousands of hours, but today, Chris and Eric can sit back and enjoy their shot for shot camcorder remake and underground cult hit, Raiders of the Lost Ark, the adaptation. Raiders of the Lost Ark was the right answer there. 20,309 got it right. You're on your way to question nine. Feeling fine. Here we go. Uh, let's get it. And to question nine, the only known biofluorescent reptile is a species of what? Turtle, lizard, or snake? Biofluorescent. What's it gonna be, babies? Okay. Might have gotten a little tricky here. Not to be confused with bioluminescence or uh, biophosphorescence. Biofluorescence is absorbing visible light and re-emitting it in a different color. A nifty party trick for the sadly endangered hawksbill sea turtle. Yeah, turtle was the right answer there. That's another savage question. Holy dang. <gasps> savage question song! Sorry, you got it wrong! Savage Quest song! That's the third Savage Quest song. It was about a turtle. About a turtle! Woo Speaking of turtle, unrelated, there's a tortoise. Shout out to a very special eight year old that I met while I was out in LA, Sophie. She has taken over the duties of raising my tortoise. Shout out to you, Sophie. Have fun with Franklin slowly. That's his name. Okay, question 10. Here we go, my friends. Uh, time to get it in. This iconic play was nicknamed The Miracle in what place? Take a look. Flutie flushed. Throws it down. Caught by Boston College. I don't believe it. Oh. It's a touchdown. Was it The Miracle in Minneapolis, Maryland, or Miami? Okay, that iconic play. Where did it take place, babies? Now, some misremember this play as causing uh, Doug Flutie to win the Heisman, but in fact, the voting was already in. This game-winning Hail Mary was just the, the icing on the cake, known as the Miracle in Miami. Woo, 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 woo. 8,174 just got it. I'm so proud of y'all. Time for question 11. All dogs go to heaven. Let's get it, babies. Here we go. Question 11. When upside down, Indonesia's flag looks a lot like whose? Poland, Belarus, or Lithuania? Hmm? Who's it gonna be? Poland, Belarus, or Lithuania? I like to say all of those. Poland, Belarus, or Lithuania? Sure, you can make your flag classy and minimalist, but uh, you risk looking like other flags. You know what I'm saying? Good news is, if you're badly outnumbered in a naval battle, you could just flip that flag and say, hey, why are you attacking a Polish ship? <laughs> Look at that, Poland, babies. That was the right answer there, because the flag, when flipped upside down, looks, uh, you know, some lazy flag prep. 6,200. 74 are closer to this 1 billion points. Let's see what it's gonna be. Question 12, are y'all ready? Woo, question 12. What's that smell? Smells like money. Follow me at Matt What's Funny. Woo, question 12. I said question 12, question 12. I miss singing that so much. Okay, here we go. Which musical act was not signed to Motown? Rick James, The Commodores, or Ben E. King? Let's see what it's gonna be. All right. Motown made music a second industry for Detroit as the car business moved overseas, and they kept it going with acts like Marvin Gaye, Diana Ross, and the Jacksons. But Stand By Me was on Atlantic like all the early work of Ben E. King. Let's go. Wow, I'm proud of y'all. 4,844, just one HQ trivia. Let's go. Let's go to work. Yeah. 
Holy moly! Woo! Just nittle bam, snip snap, zip zap. That's a lot of points y'all just got. YG Perez, congratulations! Leo Bonito, Animal, Lenny1984, Poth503, Die Molly, Demon1351, John John Ho! You guys all got like 206,441 points. That's a lot. That's a lot of freaking points. It's gonna help you level up hella fast. Word. You did it! You are officially on the HQ leaderboard. On Wednesday, we're bringing back the 100. We're gonna keep asking questions. And in the end, every winner is gonna get at least 50 bucks. So don't miss that, okay? I've been your host, Matt Richards, AKA Matt Was Funny. Hit me up on the socials. Don't forget y'all, Words is coming up next at 9.30 with my girl Anna Roisman. So don't go away. Have a nice night, babies. It's so good to see you. Mwah. Wow! I miss I'm gonna go this way.